guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys have got the same TikTok feed as me, but I've had so many videos of Sabrina Carpenter looking incredible on her tour, and I'm gonna recreate it today. Whoa, let me see if I can find an example. This woman has been ruining my life. I think she's like my Taylor Swift, oh my God. I want to go as Sabrina Carpenter for Halloween. She's so hot. I don't even listen to her music. She's just like Madison Beer. She's like, oh, she's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to do my best to turn into her today, um, even though I look um, raggedy. So I'm going to go do my hair and then I'll be back to do the makeup. Okay, I know this isn't exactly it. I feel like it's close enough. She has longer, thicker hair than me. So I have to curl my hair to get a bit of volume. But once this goes flat, like it will inevitably at some point, I'm just gonna try and like poof it up and like, I don't know. I feel like this is as close as I'm gonna get and I have pretty similar hair. Oh wait, I'm missing my light. That's why it doesn't look good. I think this is as close as I'm getting. I'm gonna hairspray the heck out of this though. I was gonna add in some smaller curls, but I run out of time, so now we just have like this. Ugh. No, this isn't how it's supposed to turn out. Why does it never work? You know what? This is working for now. Okay, so she, I watched a couple videos and she was talking quite a lot about like skincare prep. So obviously I've already done my skincare, but I think I'm just gonna use like a little hack, Mary Badescu. Anyway, I think she has the opportunity to be like the it girl. Like for me, she's what Ariana Grande used to be like cute but still really like stylish looks gorgeous like that's what i really used to love about ariana grande so i'm i'm obsessed but she has quite i don't know to me quite a distinct look although it kind of is in the same girly girl vibe as like madison beer at the moment with like the little short corset dresses which i love by the way but I've got these photos to try and copy her look a little bit she looks like she goes like matte base with like some shimmer on her cheeks her lip is a lot darker than i normally go this one like i think i can do that it looks like her blush is like right up here and then she's got like a big wing and then like dead white jawline so i'm just gonna start with a really heavy base i say heavy this is concealer but you know what i mean i've also just fake tanned which works because she looks like when you have a really like tan neck but like a pale face which is like my look i don't know why i really like it <laughs> because it doesn't look realistic at all okay and then i'm gonna highlight with this is the multitasker rimmel concealer it's great it's just very very like dries very very quickly but it's amazing like it stays all day i feel like my since i've started putting really bright concealer in the corner of my eye like this corner where I'm blending out now. My makeup just looks so much better. This concealer is good for this look because it's like flawless. She's really pale like everywhere, but then it looks like, I mean, you can't see under her fringe, but I'm gonna assume that she bronzes under her fringe because like everyone does and you've got to blend it with your body. I'm not gonna do my bronze where I normally do it, which is kind of low, like low, low down there normally. I'm just gonna do straight, like go straight for the jawline because she has so much definition in her jawline. And blend it out. I have the worst tan line under my chin right now. I'm not even gonna show it because I'm so ashamed, but it is kind of funny. So this is kind of working to blend it out. I'm gonna keep all the bronzer like up here. Luckily, I think the blush that she's using is really similar to the blush that I have like it's more of a peach than a pink and I'm not gonna bring it like under my eye like I normally would okay now blush looks like she wears a lot at the top of her cheeks so I'm gonna start at the top like right under my eye like here that feels so weird but like that's where she puts it why does that make what's that done to my eye bags now what? This is like right on the top of my cheekbone. I quite like it. Does it kind of look like I've been punched in the face a little bit? I think I need to do setting powder for my under eye circle. Let me see if I can adjust this. 
All right, I'm just gonna put some, it looks like she uses a little bit of bronze. I, I never do bronzy stuff like under the nose. I'm getting so distracted, but I was really excited to do this bit. So that, and then a little bit of pink as well. Does she have a cold? Maybe. I'm using NARS setting powder. Ah, oh, that saved it. It was setting powder that I was missing and probably under eye filler, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with the bronzer, like on the side of my nose. I never do this though, and I've kind of got a big nose. I mean, not a big nose, but like from, it's bigger from the side than it is from the front. So I never try and like do any kind of contour because I just feel like it will look so ridiculous. But I'm doing it for this tutorial. Hmm. Hmm. Eyebrows, she, she has bigger eyebrows than me. I, I have tried so many different products to gel my eyebrows and I always end up with eyebrow bogeys. Right, I don't know how, okay? It just keeps happening to me. And then people go, what's in your eyebrow? And I'm like, oh my God, it's the gel. Yeah, she has bigger eyebrows than me. I don't have anything to do my eyebrows. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do that and then sort of hope. Um, okay, next. For this bit, I've had to go into my deep dark makeup because I don't ever use shimmery stuff. I kind of hate it, but I have this that my mom gave me. It's number seven. And I think I just, I think I have to use it. I don't like putting shimmer on my cheeks. Hmm, that wasn't so bad. She definitely uses more shimmer than me, but I'm scared and unprepared, so I'm not gonna i i can see it i don't know if you guys you guys can definitely see it there's a cheekbone there i don't really have cheekbones i have a fairly like chubby cheek face okay we're done with the base looks looks like i've been poked really hard right there don't know the annoying thing is you can't really see it in real life i also have to go to a mechanic straight after this so right her eyeliner game is pretty hardcore but i'm gonna go with what she's got in this photo because this is the most accurate. Looks like she has a wing with like a little bit underneath, which luckily is my jam. So I think I, I think I can do this. She's kind of gone for the classic wing, which doesn't really suit my face. I think I have those hooded eyelids. So the Gen Z wing, which to me is more of a like straight out one, always looks better. So I'm gonna do that just because of my eyelids. But if you wanted to be really accurate, then go for the classic wing. Yeah, that's it. Is it? Maybe? I don't know if this is like super accurate to how she does it because it looks a bit different in every photo, but it looks like she layers on some fake eyelashes, which I don't think I'll be doing today because I'm about to go to a mechanic and I'm not dedicated enough to the course. I was about to be like, oh, my face doesn't match my neck, but I think it's still the vibe. Yeah, I think color wise, I'm still good. So I was gonna like do some eyeliner, like proper eyeliner under my eyes, but I think what she has here is kind of what I have anyway. Just mascara on the bottom lashes. I think I'm good. The big thing now that's scary though is these darn lips. I think I need to go get my other lip liners. We're pulling in the big boys. So I'm pretty sure this one is Peekaboo Neutral by NYX. She has a kind of brown one, but I'm just gonna use like a dark, it's like a mauve kind of. I watched a TikTok ages ago about how to properly overline your lips because mine have never looked good overlined. And it turns out you only overline the center bits and then the rest of it, you follow your line. Don't know if anyone else needed to hear that like I did two years ago. Hmm. So she's got kind of dark lips and it looks like, kind of looks like a matte over the top, but I'm just gonna use, this is from NYX. It doesn't say a shade, but it is pretty much the shade, look, it's the shade I've got on basically. Now, unfortunately for me, she never pouts, which is like my go-to move. She always does like the high fashion, like, uh, is not, you know what? I haven't actually done that bad a job. This looks pretty good. Okay, I think I need to do a little bit more hair curling and then I will be back. No, wait, do I need more hair curling? I don't think so. She just has a fringe, which I don't have. But if I tuck my hair behind my ear like this, 
then this just makes it look a bit more like a fringe even though it's not. I think, I think I've done like okay. I think this is the closest I'm gonna get. My hair is completely gone flannel so it is a little bit more, I think it's a little more realistic to how she has hers. Also, mind your own business why my hair doesn't hold a curl. I really thought it would hold a bit stronger. I might have my hair color set down too low temperature wise because like surely this isn't normal. This doesn't normally happen. Anyway, okay, I realized I actually have a corset like the one that she kind of wears on stage. So I thought I'd put it on for the full effect. Hold on. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely think she looks amazing. So I'm gonna probably copy this. I'm definitely stealing this nose contour for like the rest of my life. This feels, this just, it looks cute. But yeah, she's not wearing any jewelry or anything, although it looks like she's got a tiny chain on. If this was me, like I, I always style myself the same, but I would put like a little pearl necklace on or something like this. But yes, this is my Sabrina Carpenter look. So if you liked it, uh, support me by subscribing or liking this video and let me know if you try it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.